All right, hey ladies, I'm getting ready to head out for work in a few minutes. Um, basically, I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, being careful what kind of advice you get. Make sure you filter it through your thinking cap. <clears throat> a lot of men automatically think women are emotional, right? And you don't have to be. You can be very logical and you should be logical because no one's going to really take you seriously if you're not, right? So um basically i was talking to a lady yesterday about my husband you don't want to go through this stuff alone you just don't because you need you know a lot of counsel it says in the bible um godly counsel and many counselors add wisdom to your life so <clears throat> this lady was saying melissa this grown man has left you he's a grown man it's not like when you're dating and you're like you know well, let's break up. Let's go out. Let's break up, which he did to me. Like, let me see. Once because I went to college and he didn't want me to go to college. Once because we were not living together because we lost this very expensive apartment. That was like the first, I think, financial lesson we had. <clears throat> we got this apartment that was extremely expensive with like, um, the heat was crazy. So that was a lesson. And then we had saw each other. He worked like at the old mill and I worked somewhere. Oh, I know. I worked at Brig and Court Reporting in Manchester. And we had a party and we somebody scheduled it right there. And I, we just happened to run into each other and missed each other even more. So that's kind of how that was meant to be. Um, so, yeah. So he, um, I, I think I broke up with him once in eighth grade. So this lady is like, okay, he's a grown man and he is now leaving you. Why would you want to stay with him? And it's not that I necessarily feel like I would not be fine without him. I was telling her, I just, there's like a principle here, a principle of marriage. You're supposed to stay with each other through the good and the bad, right? Through the thick and the thin. That's what we're supposed to do. So I'm more committed to that principle than I am to him, I guess. And, <clears throat> um, you know, I, I try to operate by principles. But if he wants to leave you, definitely, you know, he can leave. But there is definitely consequences. So um, I had let him know, you know, you're better off to put this down because it's going to get ugly. So um, I'm picking up more work. I had to be smart about things and pretty much had no income for the most part this last year. <clears throat> with just, you know, taking the help and then saying, okay, here's the help I got. You guys can help pay part of the rent to me and I will pay the rent with the help. And then therefore I had cash and I could still be pretty productive with everything. Um, but what you wanna do is as you get on your feet, you know, you wanna make more money because <clears throat> the financial affidavits you wanna, you know, you want it to look like, yeah, I can use some help. But there is a balance, too, where you don't want it to look like, you know, I can't take care of myself. So um, I had picked up only like two days and then I just asked my boss to give me another day and I will probably pick up one more because that's going to be uh, budgeted each month with the things I need to pay for now. So try to be smart about things when things are happening. And it's it's a tough balance between letting someone go because they do have a free will there is that side but on the other side there is marriages until death do you part right that's what i was grown up brought up with basically um i did leave my husband once when we were first married <clears throat> because he wasn't being nice to me and i thought you know fine i won't be married we didn't really have a real marriage in the first place uh the justice of the peace had married us and she wasn't certified at the time and with my family background you know i was just taught it was a piece of paper that's it but now being a christian i'm like no wait a minute there is so much more to marriage than it's not just a piece of paper so um i now am more committed than i ever used to be and i think it's the way it's supposed to be you're supposed to you know have a marriage where you're growing and you're having kids and you're you're growing in your commitment to one another and so that's kind of where i'm at my husband and i grew up together um 
I mean, we used to play together on the playground and soccer together, basketball, cheerleading, um, same friends, same kind of stuff. We grew up together, very close knit. Even in high school, we were even more connected. So although we had those breakups, we had a pretty strong foundation, just kind of trying to figure it out. Like we had no skills, we had no dating skills, we had no marriage skills, and we still stuck together, even though we weren't, like we never took a marriage class, we never, we never took anything. So um, just try to, when, when you're dealing with this stuff, try to, you know, something I'm doing is I'm taking like a fast, and I'm going to God with this even more than I have ever gone to God. And to, I think what's important for a woman is to stay open. And this was some good advice I got. Stay open, stay, walk with God and be like, okay, God, where do you want me to pick something up? Are you really asking me to do this? Or is this me trying to fix everything on my own strength? And, <coughs> excuse me, like someone said, you're not God, Melissa. And of course I'm not, I get that. And she's like, and you can't fix everything. And I get that too. And I that kind of hit me a little different yesterday because I come from a background where I've had a very strong Catholic background growing up. And we were taught to do, 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 right? Do, be doers of the word, not just hearers, right? So we were taught to be doers, but yet, um, you know, I, I think with my mother, she did try to fix that pregnancy that I had with that mentality of being a survivor herself. She tried to fix it. Um, it didn't get fixed, but um, there is that mentality we can have as a woman. Let me just solve it. Let me just fix it. And I tend to love to problem solve, you know, especially relationships. That's kind of where it's at for me. And so sometimes you're not doing anybody any good trying to solve things. So there's just this careful balance of making sure that you take care of yourself and you're not sacrificing too much of yourself for someone. But yet the principle of marriage is work it out. I mean, figure it out. Get, do Go get counseling. I tried to get counseling with him and he only went once with me. But do what you got to do to make it work, right? You just make it work is kind of my mentality. But at the end of the day, you cannot make somebody do something that they don't want to do. So... Just um, just be very wary of, you know, staying close to God and being open to him during times of trials. That's it, guys, for today.